Hi, this is EJ with Reactive Substance. I'm the design lead, and welcome to part two of our tutorial putting together our Arduino driver shield for the Shape Oco or similar CNC. So, now that that's done, flip it back over, and we're going to take apart our headers. You can actually leave the headers in. We're going to need those. It's going to be the same setup after we do the capacitors. So yeah, yeah. That little S1 header is actually, I think it's manufactured a little bit taller. It's probably within tolerance, but it's a little tall. But again, doesn't matter. So that's in place. So let's dig out our capacitors. Those are our electrolytic. Those are our ceramic. Again, standard grade, which is fine at this size. Ceramic, tiny capacitance, military spec. We're going to start with the four that are the most interior, just like we did the most interior sockets. So we're going to need two ceramic and two of the electrolytics. There you go. Now, if we start with our electrolytic, one thing to bear in mind, if, if you're not aware, is that these are polarized. Notice one leg is longer than the other. Stripe on the side represents negative, which means that the long leg is positive. Now if you look here, where you've got the rounds for your capacitors, uh, the round obviously represents this particular capacitor, and there is a little plus sign right beside the graphic. So you want to make sure that your long leg goes along the plus sign. So that goes in place, and you want to make sure that it is as low as you can make it, in this case, we've got it flush with or lower than the socket beside it. It's got to be at least flush with. But the closer you can get it to the board, the better. Bend those outward. Hold it in place. And we start tacking. That's one down. Now, we're going to finish up on this side. Now this, the ceramic capacitor, notice it does not have one leg longer than the other. They are both the same length. That is because this capacitor is not polarized. Most ceramics aren't. Uh, it may be that no ceramics aren't, I can't recall. but just so long as it gets slotted in. Bend it down. And short up. So that's number two. To our third one, which is actually C7, long leg, into the plus. Bend it down. And the solder. And our last one. You want to make sure 
you're bending these, but you want to make sure that whatever is left after you cut it is not in danger of touching one of the other components that either is soldered in place or is yet to be soldered in place. So, that is the inner four. Now we're going to do the outer four. Ceramic. It's non-polarized. Now one thing you can do is you can bend it like this, side to side, which is perpendicular to the component itself, rather than in series with the circuit. You're going to get farther away from the leads that you have in this particular on this particular board, but sometimes you end up with a crooked piece when you look at it from uh, the board level. So, for the sake of aesthetics, I prefer to bend them out this way because you're less likely to get a wobbly looking piece, but you recognize that you could possibly create a short. So, something to bear in mind. Kind of missed the solder bead there. Look, oh, it's giving me trouble. Uh, I think it's time to clean our soldering iron. Should always have a little bit of this stuff. It's nasty and probably uh, really bad for you if you look, look at the label, but it cleans up our, cleans up your iron beautifully. And gives a little tin coat. I don't think I need to worry. Do our last ceramic. And when cutting, you always, 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 see that thing pop up? Want to be wearing eye protection. Absolutely at all times. Always, 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 always. And our last two electrolytics. Positive side over here. Long leg. And since we're here, we are going to knock just a little bit off the switch leads. Still going to leave them fairly long, probably. Mm, I'd call it 3 sixteenths. Give or take. A little bit longer than an eighth. And last electrolytic. Positive. Long leg. Alright, so that is all eight capacitors in place, and we are ready to assemble the outside rows of sockets. So we're going to go back to the headers that we had before, and you can just slot them in.
may need to reposition by one hole to avoid the uh, capacitors that you just installed. Not a big deal. Just make sure as before, everything's flush. So with those in place, we're going to, same thing as before, flip it over, make a little table out of it. We're going to tack in the middle of each of the sets of sockets. Take a look to make sure our handiwork is handy, nice and even. That one's got a little wonk to it, but nothing detrimental. Finish it up. So, now with all that together, we've got our lovely board. Everything is pretty squared up and true, and uh, it's looking nice and symmetrical. So now, we're going to remove our headers that we're holding everything in place. And what we're going to do with these is they're going to go on the bottom side. So with the golden contacts showing, short contacts go in the board.